Welcome to this NSI screencast on our updated version of the NSI Auto Store front panel simulator. In today's screencast, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the new capabilities and how they can help you build up your best demos. After downloading the new version, the first step to accessing all of the new features is to register. Once registered, you'll gain access to the What You See is What You Get style editor to quickly and easily configure demos and the virtual business card where you can insert your personal contact information Plus, you'll be able to save and export custom demos for sharing with a prospect. My demo app is already registered, so I'm just going to click the open menu in the upper right hand corner. This gives me access to the playlist screen where I can save, edit, rename, and export the demos I create. So, the first thing I want to do is create a new demo. Let's say we'd like to configure this demo specifically for a prospect we'll be speaking to at Acme. So let's name this something like Acme Company Demo. If I mouse over the demo that we just created, we can see function buttons here on the right with tooltips that tell you what each of them do. So I want to configure this for Acme and I'll click on Configure Demo. What we see now is that the standard demo is loaded in editing mode. Any of these yellow fields can be edited with text and imagery, either from the preloaded asset library or with our own custom imagery. These fields are available to edit throughout the entire simulator, which we can navigate using the screens listed here on the left. But let's keep it simple for now and just customize the welcome screen with the customer's logo and personal welcome text. To edit a field, simply click inside a yellow box. When we click on an image like the logo, the asset library will automatically appear. We can choose from the artwork that's preloaded or upload our own images by clicking Add New Images. So the Acme logo has been loaded to our asset library and we can select it. We'll edit the text in a similar way by clicking in a yellow box and then typing whatever we want. So now we have a nice custom demo to share with our prospect at Acme. Before we exit, let's also add some contact information with a virtual business card that will be displayed at the end of the demo. All we need to do is select Show Virtual Business Card and then edit the business card in the Virtual Business Card screen. So now we can save and exit. Because we built the configuration for Acme, we'll still need to find a way to show it to them. The easiest way to do this is to export the configured demo. When we do that, a separate simulator will be created that we can zip, email, and share. To export, we click the open option in the upper right hand corner for the playlist and mouse over the demo we created to see the function buttons. Select export and where you want it to go. Now we see a simulator folder has been created that contains a playable version of the simulator we just configured. This folder can be zipped and emailed or it can be loaded onto a USB for sharing. However, this demo can't be configured anymore in this format. If we wanted to make any changes, we'll have to go back into the simulator app select configure this demo from the playlist and then export it again. As we come to the end of the demo we will see that our vir virtual business card will appear and now the prospect can give us a call and tell us how amazing our demonstration was. This concludes our screencast on the new NSI Auto Store front panel simulator for Konica Minolta MFPs.